officials in Toronto want to erase. The city has begun a cleanup campaign, whether it's in schoolyards, on subway walls, or in tenement halls. Graffiti is to be wiped out, and graffiti artists will be treated as vandals. CTV's Corey Atkins has that. Graffiti, the art of risk as it's known on the streets, has just become more of a gamble. Uh, those who spray paint and who damage public property or private property are in fact vandals subject to the criminal code. From now on, the Toronto police will take a zero tolerance approach when it comes to young people spray painting walls. Toronto is Canada's graffiti capital and the city wants to change that. It's launching a website, poster campaigns, and Teens Against Graffiti to deter budding urban artists. We want to be able to reach out to that teen with this program, specifically in education, to let them know it is a criminal offense. Graffiti, or graph, has become popular in recent years, mostly because of hip-hop music. It can even be found on the sides of restaurants. But take a walk down an alley, and this is what you'll find. Scribbles and cat scratches. They're called tags. The total cost of graffiti cleanup across the country adds up to 50 million. In the U.S., the figure is close to seven billion dollars. If you have graffiti, it, it's the beginning of a slide down into uh, neighborhoods deteriorating and uh, property values dropping and people feeling unsafe. It's not going to make a bloody difference. Matt Robinson is an aerosol artist and for the last six years has organized Canada's largest legal graffiti expo. He says a hardline stance will backfire. Cities should compromise and take a cue from the Europeans. There's a lot of parks, a lot of open public spaces where these guys can go and paint. Wishful thinking considering police forces across the country are adopting Toronto's hardline anti-graffiti program. All in the effort to stop the flow of paint. Corey Atkins, CTV News, Toronto.